The U.S. is preparing the largest military aid package in history under the $6 billion USAI program, according to Politico media outlet. It can be announced today and will include Patriot air defense systems, artillery ammunition, UAVs, anti-drone means and air-to-air -air missiles, which will be mounted on fighters. It is noted that the equipment, which also includes ammunition for high-mobility artillery rocket systems and national advanced surface-to-air missile systems, likely won't arrive in Ukraine for several years, as the money is being allocated under the Ukraine Security Assistance Initiative. Under USAI, the Pentagon issues contracts to American defense firms to build new equipment for Ukraine. As opposed to drawing from current U.S. stocks, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is expected to announce the new aid during a virtual meeting of the 50-plus nations that make up the Ukraine Defense Contact Group. It will be a big boost after the U.S. was forced to show up empty-handed for the monthly gathering for months while the funding was stalled in Congress, asked for comment, Pentagon spokesperson Lt. Col. Garen Garn said the department had no security assistance announcements to make. The people familiar with the pending announcement were granted anonymity to discuss internal planning that drawdown of artillery rounds, air defense missiles, armored vehicles and army tactical missile systems with a range of nearly 200 miles represents more immediate help for Ukraine as it tries to blunt recent Russian advances in stepped-up missile attacks on Ukrainian critical infrastructure. The U.S. secretly sent Ukraine long-range at ACMS missiles, which Ukraine has deployed to attack Russian targets. In the past few weeks prior to additional funding for Ukraine being approved by Congress, Reuters and AP reported this, citing an anonymous U.S. official. It is reported that at ACMS were included in the IS $300 million military aid package for Ukraine that U.S. President Joe Biden approved in March 2024. AP added separately that it was a significant number of attacks, but did not specify the precise quantity. The United States will continue to supply Ukraine with attacks tactical missiles, stated U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. We've already sent some missiles. We will send more now that we have additional authority and money, Jake Sullivan said. At the same time, he refused to name a specific number of missiles that Washington plans to supply to Ukraine. Ukraine first used these missiles on the morning of April 17 to strike a Russian airfield in occupied Crimea, some 165 kilometers away from the front line in Ukraine, the source said. It is also claimed that attacks were utilized in an attack on occupied Berdyansk, Zaporizhia Oblast. The Pentagon was initially reluctant to send attacks to Ukraine to the fears that this would negatively impact the combat readiness of U.S. forces or that Ukraine would deploy the missiles to strike targets on Russian territory. The White House changed its mind after Russia deployed ballistic missiles supplied by North Korea to attack Ukrainian critical infrastructure facilities. Joe Biden ultimately made the final decision during a national security meeting in mid-February. According to Reuters, the attendees, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, Secretary of State Antony Blinken, and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Charles Brown, were unanimously in favor of sending Ukraine at ACMS. Earlier this week, President Volodymyr Zelensky stated that his most recent phone call with Joe Biden resulted in agreements for the supply of long-range at ACMS missiles to Ukraine. American media had reported that ATACMS might be included in Ukraine's next package of U.S. military aid, likely worth you Sony billion dollar.
Jesús. Jesús. Jesús.